YouTube, Private Parks here. Just a little word of experience of going into the army. Okay? We're going to back up to the day I was shipped out. Okay? All right. I got my letter, got my, my orders and everything, and I was supposed to leave Charlotte Douglas Airport. Okay? 747. Okay? That, that sound, I've never been flying before, never flew a plane before in my life. But the Army, military, my wonderful United States government was going to send me to the Army to train to be one of their fighting machines. Oh, uh, my high school figure is still in here. I'm hiding it. It's, it's under camouflage. You know, you have to hide things sometimes so people don't. Girls just jump all over me all the time, just wanting my body. So I had to do some camo cover. Okay, back to the Army. Uh, my my order said depart from Charlotte, North Carolina in a 747 to Fort Worth, Texas. And then I was to have a 30 minute layover and I would go into a Frontier and ride a Frontier plane it's called Frontier dual propeller, all that good stuff to Oklahoma City. And then from Oklahoma City I was to take a limousine from the Oklahoma City Airport to Fort Seal Introductional. What do you call it? Fort Seal, Oklahoma Introduction Introductional. Okay, so 747 transfer to a Frontier, and then I get in a limousine and go to base. I thought, wow, that's high class. I get to fly an airplane. Not just one airplane, but I get to fly to Fort Worth, Texas, and I get to stay there for 30 minutes. And then I get on another plane there, and I get to go to Oklahoma City and a, a Frontier plane. Didn't know, I have no idea what that was. A Frontier plane. And then they were going to put me in a limousine. I never rode in a limousine before. Y'all ever rode in a limousine? Man, I was excited. I was going to get in that limousine. They was going to ride me down there like big something. You know, drive me right on in there for my training. Yes, sir. I get on that plane in Charlotte, North Carolina. Scared to death now. Never been on an airplane before, but excited too because I wanted to fly. United States government is going to take care of me. They, they put me high class here. Okay. So I get on this 747 and I get in my seat and I get all set back and I get my little buckle belted up here and here we go. We take off. And I'm like, oh. The pilot comes on, says, all right, we're at a steady pace and I forget what speed he said and all that good stuff. I'm still excited you know, I, I, you know, he's scared because I still throw back back in my seat from that thrust. But then it leveled out. We ride along just as smooth. Man, it's fun. I'm looking out the window and I'm seeing all this land down here and everything like that, little squares, you know. It was nice. They come on, they say, okay, put your seat belts back on, put your seats in an upright position. And when they fed us this little meal going down, you know, it, oh, it was nice. Nice. They said, put your seats back in upright position. Hook up your seat belts. We're fixing to decline and land in Oklahoma City. Oh, wow, Oklahoma City. We're here. <laughs> yeah. We come in and landing just smooth. Got off that plane, walked into the airport, and I looked around, and I, figured, you know, I found where my next plane was going to be. So I walk out there and I get ready and I'm sitting there waiting for them to call us and all of a sudden I see this little uh, red and white two propeller airplane pull up to the loading that route. I thought, oh, wait a minute, they're going to load them up first and they're going to put us on another plane? Nope, they called my flight. They put me on that little two cylinder, two, two engine propeller airplane and I thought, well, this is way smaller than what I just got off of, but I guess it's a pretty good old plane. Now, they wouldn't be using it for the military, you know? Well, we get on that thing, and it's crowded. You know, two people sit like this, and, and you can over, you know, you can reach over there and shake hands with a man in the other seats on the other side of the windows over there. You know, it's, I don't know, maybe eight feet across. No, well, okay, you know, okay. Well, about the time we got up, I don't know, six, eight hundred feet, 
pilot come on and said, all right, this is not a compressurized uh, unit, so your errors may go to popping and all this, but we're not going too high, so our destination will be there X number of time, whatever long we know that plane was not pressurized, and boy, did it rattle, it shook. I was looking for the plane to fall apart anytime. I mean, that thing. I'm not cool, my God. Harmony's work on this thing. Anyway, we made it to Oklahoma City and went. We landed. I'm glad we're here. I'm ready for that limousine. I'll sit back in that thing. I'm be big dog because I ain't going to put me in a limousine and ride me right up into that. Fort Seal, Oklahoma. I'm going to enjoy this now. Get in there and I go to looking around. You know, we walk outside and I'm looking around for that limousine. There's an old van part right here, you know. It's a 15 passenger van part. And I'm looking for that limousine. I'm looking around. I keep looking and this guy here sitting there beside the van. He said, uh, can I help you, sir? I said, well, um, I just come in from Charlotte, North Carolina. Come through Dallas, Texas. Or Fort Worth, Texas. And then here, I said, uh, my order says I'm supposed to catch a limousine going to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Uh, he said, well, get your ass in the van. This is your limousine. I said, huh? I look around. It's a 15 passenger van. It's already got 22 people in it. Okay. Yeah. They packed 25 of us in this 15 passenger van. I thought, well, I just got <coughs> up the bump, you know. 15 passenger van and my thing says limousine here. I mean, I'm reading it right here. It says limousine Well, I guess that's the army's limousine Okay All right, so anyway, I pack in there. We packed in there like sparklings. We're all in there They pull up in the Fort Seal, Oklahoma and they pull up to the front door of this thing and it says administration we all pile out that well we actually roll out of it you can't stand up to get out so we go to rolling out of this van and first thing we meet is a sergeant standing there it goes cussing us for everything we are and telling us how sorry our mamas are and then he commences to tell us for the next 12 weeks i am your mama and i'm like you ain't my mama <laughs> you roll sick baby but anyway we all got, yeah, we, information, we stand attention. Now they, well, it didn't take long. They told us we didn't know nothing about standing attention. They booted us in there, got us signed up, took us to this barracks. We got in there, and I thought, well, this ain't so bad. I mean, it's double bunks, bathrooms right here, got nice showers over here. This ain't going to be so bad living quarters. Nah, it ain't bad. Yes, sir. They come in there and they tell us to get in the bunks and get us a good night's rest because tomorrow it's going to be on. Okay, yeah, fine. Okay. No problem. Yeah, boy, they come in there at 5 o'clock next morning with a trash can lid. And a wah, wah, wah. Yeah, oh, yeah, just like you see in the movies. They get us up out of the bunks. We get our stuff together. Put us all in the back of a deuce and a half. Okay, that ain't so bad. Now, you know, they sit in room for everybody, so we went on. They kick us out of there, and I say kick out because they about grab you and throw you out of there when you get there. And they tell you to go inside that barracks right there and get yourself set up. There'll be inspection, I think you said in five minutes. Well, we all go in, we find us a bunk and get to looking around. My God, this chicken house should have been torn down several years ago. Uh, welcome home, privates. You maggots. Uh, latrine is across the road. Showers is across the road. And you're not to leave here until somebody comes to get you. Anyway. I'm going to get out of here. That's enough. That was my first introduction into the military. Yes, sir. 747 men to Fort Worth, Texas. A frontier dual propeller plane into Oklahoma City. And my limousine right up to the front doorsteps of Fort Seal, Oklahoma. But I know some young guys right now. Uh, one of them has already been to basic training. He's back for a little short period, and he's going back. You know another one. That, now, these are some of my boys' friends. 
he's going into the Air Force uh, first of December, somewhere around the 12th, I think. And just for anybody that may look at this thing that you're fixing to go in the military, I just want to stand up and say, my hat is off to you guys. You're going into the military to serve and protect, and that is a great honor. I appreciate what you're doing. Most of the people here in the United States appreciate what you're doing. Good luck to you. Take each day one at a time. Don't try to take anything for granted. Everything happens for a reason. Work hard. Learn all you can. And God bless you. We do appreciate it. And we do honor the fact of our veterans. We honor the fact of the new soldiers going in. Because we know what you do. We know what you're going through. We know what you're fixing to have to put up with. Hold your heads up high. Get through basic. Everything else seems to go pretty good. This is Jack from Mr. YouTube out. Saying happy Veterans Day to all the veterans. And appreciation to all the new soldiers that are enlisting. God bless.